Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. <coughs> good morning sir. Thank you. Okay, so today um, we are going to uh, learn new topic. So um, last week we have learned about um, rotational mechanics. I mean, how to derive transfer function for a rotational mechanical system. And so far we have learned about um, developing transfer function from uh, mechanical systems. So um, one of the uh, things that you have learned during your first lecture and also uh, during your uh, project part one is to uh, draw the block diagram. Okay, so in your block diagram, there are so many uh, subsystems, uh, so many blocks in your block diagram, and there are so many symbols in the block diagram, such as the circle with cross, uh, there's an arrow. And today, in this lecture, we are going to learn about the block diagram and how to uh, reduce the block diagram to make it more simple. Okay, so uh, for today's lecture, the title is Reduction of Multiple Subsystems. Okay, so after completing this lecture, you will be able to uh, reduce block diagram of multiple subsystems to a single block representing transfer function from input to output. Okay, so before we go into learning about uh, reduction of multiple subsystems, let's uh, look what is multiple subsystems. So feedback control system consists of process and multiple subsystems. So our objective is to combine these multiple subsystems into a single system that represent the transfer function relating the output and input. So therefore, we need to reduce the multiple subsystem to make it uh, more simple into a single, sub, a single system only. Okay, so for example, this is uh, an example of block diagram that has uh, many subsystems. So we have G1, G2, G3, H1, H2. Each of these represents something like input transducer, controller, plan, feedback, output transducer, and so on. So let's take a look at uh, a familiar example that we have seen, I think, during the first lecture. So about the uh, antenna. So how to control this antenna position. So we can control the antenna position by um, adjusting the potentiometer. Okay, so if we want to draw the block diagram for this system, so the block diagram is shown uh, below. Okay, So we have potentiometer, controller, driver, motor, gear, and another potentiometer. So there are a lot of components here to, uh, that, uh, that are assembled to describe the process for controlling the position of the antenna. So we want to reduce this uh, system that has so many components into a single uh, block diagram as shown uh, below here that uh, directly relates the input and the output. Okay, so here in the uh, middle block diagram, there are so many uh, subsystems. Okay. And um, if you want to uh, make this system in, let's say, Simulink, for example, uh, it's okay, okay, because uh, the software will automatically calculate for you. But if you want to calculate manually, it's better if you can simplify this system into a single uh, block diagram. Okay, so before we go into uh, reducing the block diagram, let's uh, look at what are the components that that are making the block diagram. OK, 
Okay, so we have the signals. So the signals are represented by arrow. Okay, so the arrow is actually the signals. Okay, so it has a direction. Okay. And then secondly, the subsystem. So the subsystem is represented by uh, square blocks. Okay, so all square blocks, and there's a trans function written in the middle. This represents the subsystem. And then we have the summing junction. So summing junction is actually the circle with cross. Okay, so the circle with cross is the summing junction. And if you look closely in the summing junction, there's a positive sign and negative sign. So this positive and negative sign uh, actually represent the operations. Okay? So here, uh, R1, R2 coming into the summing junction with a positive sign, while R3 coming into the summing junction with negative sign. So the output, which is CS will equals positive R1 plus positive R2 plus negative R3. Okay, so we get R1 plus R2 minus R3. So this summing junction basically uh, add up all of the signals coming into uh, the summing junction. And then we have uh, a peak off point. So peak off point is usually a point where uh, a signal is split up into multiple signals. So for example here, RS, uh, it uh, enters this um, uh, peak off point here, and then it splits into uh, three different RS, okay? So when it splits, then the point, uh, the point where the signal split up, is called the peak off point. Okay, after we know about the components in the block diagram, then we need to understand the arrangement in the block diagram. So firstly, uh, we need to look at uh, the cascade arrangement. Okay, So cascade arrangement is when two subsystem or two blocks are arranged um, side by side okay or i i will say in series okay so cascade is also known as uh, series so this g1 and g2 are arranged in series then we have parallel form or parallel arrangement so you have a peak of point here peak of point and then splits into uh, two subsystem GS, uh, G1S and G2S. Okay, when you have a peak off point that split the signal, then the two uh, transpansion or the two blocks here are in parallel. And then lastly, feedback arrangement or feedback form. So feedback form is slightly uh, weird where you have one signal going in. Okay, so this signal is going in. And then going uh, out and then there's a peak off point here that uh, causes the signals to return okay to come back to the uh, to the its original position so when you have this kind of arrangement coming in and then coming out and then split up part of the signals come coming back to the original point then you have feedback arrangement okay so uh, now we have looked at um, uh, we already look at the components and also uh, the arrangement of block diagram so now let's look at how to simplify um, some of the arrangements um, for the block diagram so firstly, let's uh, look at how to reduce uh, a cascade arrangement or cascade form. So let's say if you have um, block diagrams that are arranged in cascade. So here we have G1, G2, G3 that are arranged in cascade or in series. So you can reduce it. So this is just derivation. So you don't, uh, you don't need to um, 
memorize the derivation again. But the end result is to reduce this plot diagram uh, that is arranged in cascade. You just multiply uh, all of the transpansion for all of the uh, subsystems that are arranged in cascade. So here, the uh, final trans function gs equals g1 times g2 times g3. Okay, so you just multiply all of the trans function in the subsystem that are arranged in cascade. Okay, so for cascade, you just uh, multiply. And then uh, let's look at how to reduce a uh, block diagram in parallel arrangement. So let's say you have this RS and then split up at the peak of point here. It splits into G1, G2, and G3. And then all of these signals meet up at a summing junction. Okay. Summing junction. So um, for a parallel arrangement, you must um, uh, remember that it is first uh, split, split here, and then uh, meet again at the summing junction. So when you see this kind of arrangement, it splits up and then meet at an, uh, at a summing junction, then it is in a parallel form, okay? So here, when you have this arrangement, you can just uh, add up, okay? So to get the final transfer function, you just add up G1 plus G2 plus G3. So the symbol here, plus minus, depends on the sign here, okay? So if this is minus, then you just minus. If this is plus, you plus, okay? So for par parallel arrangement, you just uh, add add up, okay? And then uh, we look at how to reduce uh, the feedback arrangement. So for a feedback arrangement, usually you have a, a signal coming from a sum injunction. Okay, so signal coming from the sum injunction. And then when it uh, goes out, part of the signal is coming back, okay, coming back into the uh, original point or it coming back into the uh, sum injunction. Okay, so when you have sum injunction at the beginning and at the peak of point at the end, then it is a feedback form. Okay, so you must look at the signal direction. So it's going forward and then going backward okay so when you have this arrangement you can first simplify the top one first the going forward direction so g1 times g2 to get gs so this is a cascade arrangement and then you can simplify the backward arrangement so h1 and h2 are in cascade arrangement as well so you get h H equals uh, H1 times H2. G equals G1 times G2. Okay, so you can simplify first. And then after you simplify, you can uh, further simplify the feedback arrangement. Okay, so to get the uh, feedback arrangement, so this is the uh, formula, okay? So uh, the transfer function, is given as g divided by 1 minus plus g times h. So if this is plus, then this is minus. If this symbol here is minus, then the symbol here becomes plus. Okay. So it depends on this uh, symbol here. Okay. So the symbol here, symbol here depends on the symbol on the summing junction okay, for the feedback or, or the backward signals here. So plus, you get minus. 
and then minus you get plus over here okay okay any questions so far No, sir. The, uh, the feedback mean uh, if minus, then the 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 equation is plus. <coughs> is it? Yeah. Uh, you have to look at this symbol at the uh, backward uh, signals. Okay. If plus, then minus. If minus, then plus. Okay. So our uh, formula ni uh, pening sikit lah. Awal awal pening aku. Okay, so we have to look at uh, three ways, I mean, three uh, reduction process to reduce the three arrangements, okay? Uh, cascade, parallel, and feedback. Okay, so we have uh, some other block arrangement. So, uh, firstly, is the arrangement when you have, um, when you want to move the summing junction or you want to move the block, from after some injunction, okay? So if you look at the figure on the left here, so the block here is located after some injunction, okay? after some injunction. So you want to bring the block uh, before some injunction, meaning that you want to bring this block before some injunction, okay? So what you want, what happened is that if you bring it uh, before some injunction, the, the system will become so you put uh, GS before trans, uh, the sum injunction. So on the signals, on the XS, on the signals, the other signal, you add GS, okay? So if you bring this uh, backward, basically you bring to RS and bring to XS at the same time, okay? You cannot bring to RS only. You need to bring to both uh, incoming signals. Okay, so this is just derivation uh, to show that the uh, transfer function are the same. Okay, so if you want to bring GS before the sum injunction, you need to bring it to both of the incoming signals. Okay, so what happens if you have um, a block before some injunction. Okay, so this block is before some injunction. So you want to bring it uh, after some injunction. You want to bring the block to after some injunction. So what happens is that if you bring this block to after some injunction, then at the going out signal, so CS is going out, you put GS, and at all uh, incoming signals or at all signals that coming into the summing junction, you put one over GS, okay? So uh, GS on CS because CS is coming out and XS is coming in. So initially there is no uh, nothing on XS. So when you bring GS uh, forward, on XS, you just divide by GS. Okay, so this one is uh, might be a bit uh, confusing, okay? Okay, uh, just now we have look at how to uh, change the location or position of the blocks before and after some injunction. Now let's look at how you can um, rearrange the block or change the position of the block before or after the pick-off point. Okay. So now we have a block after a pick-off point. Okay. So this block GS is located after this pick-off point. So you want to bring this uh, before pick-off point. So if you want to bring GS uh, before pick-off point, so on the incoming signals, you just multiply with GS. And for all signals going out from the pick-off point, 
you just multiply with 1 over gs or divide what by gs okay so these signals are going out you just multiply by 1 over gs so this signals coming in you multiply by gs And then lastly, if you have a block that is located before a peak of point and you want to bring this um, after the peak of point, okay? you want to change this to after peak of point. So what happens is that uh, if you bring it here, then you have to bring to all uh, going out signals. Okay? So all of the going out signals now has GS and all of the uh, going in signals you multiply by 1 over GS okay, so RS becomes uh, has nothing because you already multiplied by 1 over GS okay uh, any questions so far Okay, then. okay, maybe um, maybe the theoretical part uh, may be a bit confusing. Maybe we can look at the example later to see how we can apply the theory to uh, an example. Okay, so before we can uh, perform a reduction of subsystem, uh, there are general rules, okay? Uh, that we can apply uh, so that we can perform the reduction um, correctly or I would say uh, producing a transfer function that is a sim simpler or simplified transfer function. Okay, you don't, you, you are not necessarily uh, needs to follow these rules, but if you follow these rules, your final transfer function will be uh, sim uh, simplified, okay, will be simple. Okay, so firstly, you need to check for uh, arrangement in series. Okay? If you have series, you simplify every series arrangement first. Okay? And then followed by parallel. Okay, After series, then you uh, simplify any parallel arrangement. Okay? Series or cascade. Okay? And then after that, you uh, look for feedback. Any feedback uh, arrangement, you simplify feedback arrangement. After you cannot find any uh, cascade parallel or feedback arrangement, then you need to start thinking about uh, shifting, okay? shifting the peak of points or shifting the sum junction. So firstly, you need to shift the peak of point, peak of point to the right, okay? to the right meaning uh, going forward. And then after you uh, cannot find any more uh, possible peak of point that can be shifted, then you need to start shifting some injunction to the left, okay? Then you repeat the process until your system is simplified, okay? So uh, you can uh, use these general rules. If you follow, uh, inshallah, your, uh, your system will be uh, simplified, okay? So let's look at an example uh, on how to uh, perform um, block diagram reduction. Okay, so let's say if you have this kind of system, so you have G1 here, and then there are three sum injunctions. And then after the three sum injunctions, you have G2 and G3. And then you have uh, a split here, one going to H1, one going to H2, and the other one going to H3. And then each of them going back to uh, the three uh, some injunctions, each with uh, its own uh, symbol, okay, or signs. So now, uh, how we can simplify this uh, system into a single block, okay? We want to get this into single block. So let's look at uh, how the example uh, reduce the system. So firstly, because we have these three uh, sum injunction, 
and there are nothing in between them. Okay? There are nothing in between the Sami Junction. You can um, combine them together okay? uh, because there, there are nothing in between them. So you can just combine them together. So when you combine them together, each of the uh, signals from H1, H2, and H3 still remains uh, or retain its uh, signs, okay? Like minus positive and minus, okay? Even though it is combined. So if you want to combine, you need to uh, look at the symbol uh, here, the sign here. So here the signs are similar, positive, okay? So because the signs are positive, you can combine them. What happens if one of the signs are negative, then uh, you can combine, but uh, uh, tak combine lah, okay? So you look at the sign, if they are the same, then you can combine them together. Okay, so in this case, uh, fortunately, they are the same. So when they combine, all of the signs from H1, H2, and H3 uh, remains, okay? Minus positive and minus Okay, so when you uh, have combined the sum injunction, then you start to look at, uh, uh, you start to use the, the rules, the general rules. So firstly, you need to look at uh, the uh, cascade arrangement. Okay, so the top one here, uh, cascade, okay. So G2 and G3 are cascade. So for cascade, you just multiply all of the transfer function in the cascade, okay? So G2 times G3 or G3 times G2. And then for the H1, H2 and H3, if you look closely, uh, it starts from a split or a pick off point. And then it's split into one H1, H2 and H3. And then they meet again at the summit junction. Okay, so when you have a system that is uh, splitting and then meet again at a sum injunction, then they are in parallel. So these three things, H1, H2, H3 are in parallel. So uh, for parallel, you just add up, okay? So usually we, uh, we want to remain the negative sign here. So if you want negative sign, then you get H1 minus H2 plus H3. If you don't want negative sign here, let's say if you want positive sign, then you get minus H1 plus H2 minus H3. Okay, so it follows these uh, signs. So we get in this arrangement. Okay. And then when you get into this arrangement, then you will realize that the G3, G2, and the H1 minus H2 plus H3, these are in feedback. Okay. So for feedback, you have to use a formula so you look at this sign negative so the formula is g divided by 1 minus plus g times h so for this one you get g2 g3 divided by 1 so minus here so we use plus times g so g is g2 times g3 times h, so this is our h. Okay. So that's why you get this uh, portion here. Or you can uh, redraw.
Okay, when you redraw the system, you will see that G1 and the feedback form is in series or in cascade. So that's why here the final answer you multiply with G1. Okay, because these two are in cascade. Okay, so far, so good or not good? Any yeah. question? Sorry? Good. Okay, so uh, let's look at a more complicated example. Okay, so uh, let's say if you are given this kind of arrangement. Okay, so nampak macam, oh my god. Okay, so uh, when you get this kind of arrangement, you need to follow the general rules. Okay, so let's look at how to simplify this. Okay, so the first rule is you need to um, uh, look at uh, cascade, parallel, and uh, feedback. Okay, so here in the arrangement here. Uh, there are no cascade, okay? no cascade because um, here G1, uh, there are two subjunctions, okay, and there are no more blocks uh, after G1, okay. If you have G2 uh, before the subjunction, then they are cascade, okay, they are in series. But now G1, uh, after G1 is a uh, um, subjunction, okay, so G1 and G2 are not in cascade, okay. So similar to G2 and G3, they are not in cascade because of there are other things in between them. So if you want to uh, to do the cascade uh, reduction, you need to make sure that the blocks are arranged uh, side by side or one after another without anything in between them. Okay? So here G1, G2 and G3, they are not in cascade. Okay, so they are not cascade. Then uh, parallel, uh, we look at parallel. So parallel, um, so for now there are no parallel yet, but we can uh, do something to make uh, to make the arrangement in parallel, which is uh, I will show later. So now there are no parallel arrangement, and how about feedback? Eh? Is there any feedback arrangement? So if you look at the last uh, section here, G three and H three. So this section here is actually a feedback arrangement okay? because it starts from the summing junction and then split one of the signals going back to the summing junction. Okay? So there, there are nothing in between them that interrupts. Okay? So here G3 and H3, uh, they are in feedback. So we can simplify the feedback. Okay? So we can simplify the feedback uh, arrangement first. So to simplify the feedback arrangement, you will get this uh, transformation G3 divided by 1 plus G3 times H3. So plus because this is minus. Okay, so this is minus, so you get plus. And then what the example did was it brings this pick off point here. Okay, so you can shift this pick off point to the right. Or you can do uh, like um, shift this transfer uh, some junction to the left. You can do that, but uh, the rules from the rules you start with pick off point first. Okay? It's better if you start with pick off point. So if you start with pick off point, you uh, will shift this pick off point to the right. Okay, so there are other pick off points like this pick off point. You can shift to the right. But if you shift this pick off point to the right, you are uh, jumping over a sum injunction. Uh, to shift a pick off point, you need to uh, jump jump it over a block, okay? Not a sum injunction. Okay, so if you jump over a sum injunction, they uh, tak boleh, okay? So cannot shift this. But you can shift this to the left if you want. If you shift this to the left, you can still do it, 
um, but uh, it introduced something else, lah, okay? So uh, if you follow the rules, you just shift pick off point uh, to the right. If you shift this to the left, then uh, you need to uh, multiply by something, okay? I'm not sure. So if you shift this to the right, this pick off point, you get um, all of the um, going out signal multiplied by one over G two. Okay. Okay. So all of the coming in signals will be multiplied by G two. All of the going out signals multiplied by one over G two. So you multiply the garis side here, the lines here with one over G two. And you multiply by one over G two this line here. So G two multiplied by one over G two, you get uh, nothing. Okay, you get nothing. So this going in line here, or going in signal, you multiply by G two. Or simple, if you mean uh, about that, you can just uh, say that if you shift this pick off point to the right, then uh, all of the other, uh, all of the parts here, all of the signals here will be multiplied by one over G two. Okay, so signals here, signals here, multiply by one over G two. Okay, move backward the G two, or you shift the pick off point to the right. Okay. And after you get this uh, kind of arrangement, you can further simplify or repeat the process. Okay. So firstly, uh, you need to look for a cascade. Okay? Again, you need to repeat the process by looking at the cascade, parallel feedback and so on. So we start with cascade. There are no cascade again. And then we start with, uh, we continue with uh, parallel arrangement. So if you look at this uh, portion here, so this line here has nothing in between them. So this you can um, macam sim simplify can be just one pick off point here, one big pick off point. Okay. So this is a one big pick off point. So the signals are split from a pick off point, and then meet back at a summing junction. So this arrangement is a uh, parallel. So it's a parallel arrangement because it splits from a pick off point and then meets at a semi junction. But the line here, line here has no blocks. Okay, when you have no blocks in the line, it's basically uh, the block, the value of the block is basically equals one. Okay, sama dengan satu. Okay, the block here equals one. Or uh, because it's equals one, we don't usually draw a block equals one lah, okay? We just tak uh, lukis block, okay? Kita just lukis garis saja. So here, uh, if you uh, if you want to perform parallel uh, reduction, you just add up, okay? Because all of these are positive sign. So one over G two plus one, okay? Then you can buang the summing junction. And then after you uh, perform the parallel uh, arrangement, then you can uh, continue with um, feedback form. There is no more feedback form. Or you can continue with um, uh, shifting, okay? shifting the pick off point and shift the summing junction. So in this case, uh, the example shift uh, the summing junction. Okay? So you shift the summing junction. Uh, to the left, okay. So when it shifts this summing junction to the left, then you multiply by uh, one over G one, okay. So here, uh, the top part you just multiply G one times G two, but the feedback part here you just multiply by one over G one.
Okay, so after you simplify this, then uh, you can uh, further simplify uh, the system. You can repeat the process. So firstly, these two sum junction can be combined, okay, because uh, similar positive sign. Okay, you can combine them. So here it's combined. And then these two uh, block here, at the end here, are in cascade form. So you can multiply both of them. And then uh, when you uh, combine these two sum junction, then H2 over G1 and H1 here are in parallel, okay? Similar to example number one, okay? So they are in parallel. You can just uh, add them up together. And then from here, you can further simplify or repeat the process. So here, the first uh, portion here is in feedback form. So you can simplify the feedback form uh, using G over one, one uh, minus plus G times H. Okay, so you have minus here. So you use plus. So your G is the top uh, or the forward uh, transfer function. And the H is the uh, feedback transfer function, this portion here. Okay, so you can uh, plug in into this formula and simplify. Okay, need to simplify. Okay, later on you try how to simplify this. And then when you simplify this into feedback form, then uh, all of these are in cascade. Okay, so cascade, you just uh, multiply all of them together. Okay, so when you multiply, you get this final transfer function. Okay, any questions so far? So far, okay, doctor. Doctor. Hmm. Yes. Uh, kalau untuk macam uh, nak selesaikan ni dia kena selesaikan di bahagian output dulu ke ataupun di bahagian input dulu ataupun mana-mana? Uh, dia uh, kena selesaikan based on uh, arrangement tadi. Kita cari uh, series uh, cascade dulu, parallel dulu, feedback dulu. Tak kisah dia dekat mana-mana. Kalau jumpa arrangement tu dulu, uh, better simplifykan cascade dulu, parallel dulu, feedback dulu. Then baru kita simplify kan, like shifting pick off point or shifting the sum injunction. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you can understand. Um, later on, uh, maybe on Wednesday we will do a tutorial. So you can try by yourself first, okay, the tutorial before we discuss in class. Okay, so let's look at, uh, I think, last example. Ada lagi kot, tapi we'll continue on Wednesday. Ah. Okay, so let's look at example number three. So reduce the block diagram to single block diagram. Okay, okay so you have this kind of arrangement. Okay, nampak arrangement macam ni, rasa macam uh, give up lah. Okay. But uh, don't give up yet. Okay, so if you follow the uh, steps, uh, the rules, you, know, you can uh, simplify the block diagram. Okay, firstly, in this arrangement, we look for cascade. Okay, there are no cascade. Oh, ada, ada cascade kat sini, G6 and G7. If you look at G6 and G7, they are in the same direction. And they are there are nothing in between them. So G6 and G7 actually cascade, okay? So you can simplify uh, G6 times G7. Uh, that's it. Code, okay. Okay, divide this two. Okay, so when you simplify this, so when you simplify this into a single block, then if you look at the signals here, this is a peak off point. It splits, okay, splits into one going to G4 and one going to G6 times G7. And then 
when they go to two branches, they meet again at the same summing junction. Okay, so as I said, when uh, the signal splits and then meet again at the summing junction, then they are in parallel arrangement. So G6 times G7 is parallel with G4. Okay, so you just uh, plus them okay, or add them up. So you can write G4 plus G6 times G7. Okay. So this is the answer or the example actually did. Okay. G4 plus G6 times G7. And you can remove the sum injunction. And then again here, if you look at G4 plus G6 times G7 and G3 here, they are in the same direction same signal direction. So G3 and G4 plus G6 and times G7, they are in a cascade, okay? So you can multiply uh, G3 times G4 times G4 plus G6, G7. Okay, yang lain-lain tu belum lagi. Okay, so we simplify the things that uh, senang dulu. Okay, so when you get this, then um, you need to start thinking about shifting. Okay? There are no cascade arrangement, no parallel, and no feedback. Okay, no feedback arrangement. So you need to start thinking of uh, shifting the uh, pick off point. Okay, so pick off point that you can shift is uh, this pick off point because you want to shift it to the right. Okay, you can shift this to the left, but it will uh, the step will be different. Okay, bukan uh, bukan times one over something. Okay? the step will be different, but you can. Okay. So we shift that pick off point to the right. Okay. So after you shift this pick off point to the right, so what happened is that you multiply uh, the G2 by one over G5. Okay. So you shift this to the right, then G1 times G5, and then this signal going out here uh, divided by G5. Okay, so this times G5. Okay, this is what uh, you will get. Okay. So this uh, big uh, chunk here will become one pick off point. Okay. Okay, because there are nothing in between them. So again, if you uh, gabong this, then you will see that uh, the signals here, they split from a pick off point and then they meet again at the summing junction. Okay, so when it splits from a pick off point and meet at the summing junction, so they are in a parallel. Okay, and then and then after you uh, add this up, then uh, you will get uh, something like this. Okay, maaf, saya yang buruk. 
Okay, you will get something like this. Then if you look at uh, carefully, then uh, there's two signals here, one going up, one going down here. They're actually coming from the same peak of point and then they meet again at the same uh, Sami Junction. So G8 and the rest uh, at the bottom here are in parallel as well. Okay? Parallel again. Okay, so uh, in this example, you will uh, it says that notice that the feedback is in parallel form. Okay, as I said just now, all of them, your know, feedback uh, signal study are in parallel form. So the equivalent feedback or the equivalent feedback transfer function is you just add up G2 over G5 plus G3 times G4 plus G6 times G7 plus G8. And then after you simplify uh, the plan, uh, the parallel, you will see that they are in uh, feedback form. Okay. So uh, the G1 and G5 is actually uh, in feedback form with uh, the other. Okay. So since the forward transfer function, uh, the forward path transfer function is GS or equals G1 times G5, the closed loop transformation becomes using the feedback formula. So you just substitute, okay? G equivalent is G1 times G5, and H equivalent is this, okay? And then you further simplify, okay? After you further simplify, you get this uh, transfer function. Okay, so maybe later you can try how to get this or further uh, study for yourself, okay? By yourself, how to get this. Or oh, I'll be just like, okay. So that's it for today's lecture. Any question before uh, we end the class? Sir. Yep. Then tadi tu, so as a bad flat tadi. Yep. Yang, uh, yang last tu, dia akan jadi macam mana? G8 tambah G2 tam, apa, G5 tambah G3 tu? Ah uh, Betul. Um, tak ada jadi macam mana? So dia akan jadi uh, Sekejap ni Sekejap eh So ni uh, G1, G5 okay. And then um, Di ke depan and then feedback dia ialah yang tadi lah G8 plus bla 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 Alah benci lah benda ni Okay, so um, dia akan jadi, uh, yang feedback dia akan jadi G8 plus uh, yang tadi lah G2 over G5 plus G3 apa semua And then dia akan pergi sini, so ni simbol dia still minus uh, Menjawab soalan tak? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you uh, Okay <laughs> Okay, so uh, maybe um, before we go into tutorial this Wednesday, maybe uh, I want you to try the example first to get uh, to get more understanding so that you understand more about how to do the uh, feedback, uh, feedback simplification, parallel, cascade, and then how to shift the peak of point or shift the summing junction so that uh, on Wednesday, when I explain all that uh, from the tutorial, uh, you faham sikit lah, okay, macam nak buat okay, uh, You will get a clear understanding uh, Janganlah uh, ada masa sejam lagi kelas kan Janganlah masa sejam ni pergi makan pula okay? Puasa kan uh, Yang tak puasa boleh lah makan Tapi sambil makan boleh lah uh, Refer balik nota ke okay? uh, Janganlah malas sangat okay? Tahulah study online boleh meniru nanti kan Tapi um, it's good for you okay? So that you can uh, understand more Okay uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, subjek ni masa exam uh, korang boleh meniru okay? Meniru kawan-kawan untuk final nanti Mungkin okay? uh, you can take advantage okay? by copying your friends without doing by yourself 
but uh, what happened if uh, suddenly you encounter this in your final year project ke uh, masa tu barulah uh, uh, nak drop FYP extend or whatever masa tu baru menyesal okay? so i don't want you to uh, take uh, take things for granted okay? even though you study online okay? so please uh, uh, take it as you study like dekat uh, dekat university for those yang dekat rumah lah, or for those yang ada kawan dekat university you can uh, try discuss with your friends okay so that's all for today's class if you have any more question uh, you can uh, whatsapp me so for those yang tak hantar project part 1 please submit and for those yang uh, hantar part 1 but uh, uh, try to be uh, very clever by copying past uh, uh, assignment past semester uh, please redo it because I check uh, there are a lot of students yang actually copy and then uh, letak journal, simply letak journal okay so I'm not stupid so I can check and yang tak uh, attach journal please attach uh, if you don't attach journal uh, you get zero okay for this uh, four marks okay it's four marks so uh, I don't want you to do it very hardly um, the question is simple you can just search from a journal uh, you can copy paste uh, their words you don't have to write on your own okay it's just for you to uh, familiarize yourself how to uh, extract information from journals okay so that's it uh, thank you very much assalamualaikum and goodbye see you again on wednesday thank you Dr. salam thank you thank you sir